Good morning. <laughs> this morning I want to read a, start out by reading a couple verses out of Proverbs chapter 4, verses 18 and 19. It says, But the path of the just is as the shining light that shineth more and more into the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not what they know not at what they stumble. How many of you have ever got up in the middle of the night and it's dark? The moon is not out. No night lights on in the house. And for some of us older people people, you don't have your glasses on. And you try to walk. You try to find your way to another room. You hit your shoulder on the door you hit your toe on the foot of the bed you know it's hard to get around in the dark um you know here in verse 19 it says the way of the wicked is darkness whenever you think of darkness you think of uh, people trying to cover up sin people trying to cover up or you know doing things where other people can't see them uh, thieves work a lot at night, you know, because they think that people can't see them. Um, a lot of sin takes place at night because they, people think, well, I, I can do this at night and nobody will ever know. Well, God knows. There's no doubt about that. So, uh, you know, the way, the way of the wicked is darkness. And, uh, you know, it even tells us in the Bible that it's going to be dark in hell. The wickedness of hell is going to be dark. So, what we must do is what is in verse 18. It says, but the path of the just is as a shining light. How many of you got up this morning and watched the sun come up? Golly, am I the only one? <laughs> There's Veronica. Thank you. Thank you. I'm up, I'm up every morning early. I see the sun come up about every morning. And uh, it's wonderful to see it start breaking through a little bit of light and a little bit of light and more light and finally whenever the sun's up it's it's bright um you know jesus said we're to be a light we're to be a light to the world so uh, we're like that sun coming up whenever we first accept christ as our savior we're like a little light and then as we grow in christ and we grow and we learn and we grow we become a bigger light and we shine for him shine that that uh, Jesus in us is shining outwardly I want to read you a verse a ver verse I'll get it out here in a minute over here in uh, Philippians chapter 2 verse 15 it says that you may be blameless and harmless the sons of God with without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world and uh if you don't think hey, we're in a wicked and a perverse nation, think again, people. We, uh, we need to have Jesus' light shining through us because this world is terrible. The, the world is bad. And uh, he commands us to do it as Christians to go out and be his light. So uh, remember that this week. Be a light for God. Let God's light shine through you that others may see him. And... Uh, that is that is a good witness that is a perfect witness that people see christ in you and not the world um do want to remind you of one thing after uh, our uh, praise and worship music we're going to have the lord's supper so uh be preparing your mind and your body for that um, if you'll join me in prayer please lord thank you for today and thank you for the many blessings that you've given us lord and thank you for letting the sun come up this morning and uh letting this world uh letting us be a light in this world or letting us show you to show people how we should live because of you how that you are perfect and that uh that we strive to be that way also lord the lord just be with us and guide us as we go through these uh hours of worship here the worship music and dear lord and lord suffer and then and brian's sermon lord we pray that you'll be in it. you'll be the one leading it lord that um all things will be for you then just be with us and guide us with all that we do. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. <laughs> 